Hey guys, so today's video we are going to be doing a another get ready with me. Does that surprise you? No. Um, I am going to get ready to go out with Jose and Sarai, maybe Juliana, we'll see. Um, but I'm actually going to do a talk through today as opposed to my sped up videos just because I've been doing a lot of sped up videos and I don't talk. I'd rather just listen to my music. But today we are going to talk as long as this camera lets me because I can't find my charger. I don't know. And we're going to try out some new things. Um, some I just I couldn't wait. I tried already this morning but because it was so early and so dark. I don't know how it looked on me. Um, I look like a crackhead. So yeah, and we are going to start this process. Should we film with light? No light? This makes me look worse. We're going to start off with this primer. This is the Master Prime. This is the Blur and Illuminate. Um... I usually go for matte things, but um, not today. Today, let's glow. Let's freaking glow. And I exfoliated my face, so it feels nice. I'm really just trying to finish this primer. I've had it forever. Um, and I didn't use it as fast as this one. This one is the um, Blur and Smooth. Apparently this was the matte one. I don't, I don't know. But the thing I love about the Glow one, the Illuminate one, it smells so good too. I love it. That's part of the reason I like use it at times. Can you see that? I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. We're gonna do something bold today. And we're going to try out the e.l.f. Um, what is this? The e.l.f. Uh, it's medium peach. Let's see. This is a little scary because it's, it's really pale and it's it says peach and I'm not really peach undertones should we zoom more in let's not zoom in um I also wanted to do to start not doing videos where I do my face because I literally do the same face all the time but we'll see also this sponge is from elf um I threw away the thing already but it's just this one it's a little maroon pinkish one um, this thing is insanely huge. Like, I'm pretty sure the Beauty Blender does not, um, get this big when you get it wet. Like, and this is not wet, but it's still, um, okay, let's see. I'm gonna look extra bright down here. This is going to be Oh my god, no. I knew it was going to be too late, but I was like, let's just take some chances. I'm going to go in with my ColourPop. Um, this is a no filter concealer that I use in all my videos. There we go. Do you see that? Do you guys see how maybe that's not like... <sighs> this is the color I be using sometimes because this looks a little too dark too. I don't know. I'm just going to put it on top of something. I don't want to do this because I know both of those are like as strong as concealers. But I just don't want to look. I don't know. Do I look better? What I'm going to do today is I'm going to set the whole face first and I'm going to use the Maybelline 
Fit Me powder. So are you gonna focus on this or not? And this is in the color medium 25. Um, I had been using this one, which is light medium. Because I thought this was going to be dark as hell, but it wasn't actually. It was super light. Um, it was super light. So I just pour some into the pan like this. And then I go in with a big brush. Today I'm using... Which one should I use? Let's use this one. I have a ton of these. I started collecting these ones recently. Um, I love these brushes. They're just so huge and they just work for everything. And this is what I do. I just like to take it all over the face. Because this one, from what I've kind of noticed, isn't like dark as hell, is what I'm trying to say. So I'm just gonna. If it doesn't work out, we can always bronze the face up. My camera's running out of battery. And I, oh, my camera died momentarily, so to kill time, I straightened my hair. Why am I so zoomed in? I did apply a bit of baking powder down at the bottom of my under eyes. I dusted it off. Um, before that, I sprayed this on my face. Um, this is the L'Oreal Infallible um, Pro Spray and Set. Um, I hate this thing, the smell, it's disgusting, but I need to get rid of it, so I gotta use it. Ideally, we're supposed to be leaving soon, like within the next 15 minutes, but <laughs> I'm still over here, I'm getting ready. I did my hair too, by the way, straight, like always, it's just what I like right now. My mom made tilapia, I'm not a fan of fish, you guys, like that fishy taste I'm not with it but I thought I'd eat my protein Jenny está bien bueno Jenny today um, it is from Rimmel London it is a natural bronzer first I want to apply something a little darker and then I'm gonna go in with that so something dark first and then I'm gonna go in with that bronzer so this is the BH Cosmetics um, shade and define 10 color contour palette um, and I like to use these first three right here Let me see. yeah so one two three Sometimes I dip into a, um, this one, but I'm a little scared of this one. So I'm just going in with this color on this color right now. And this is a Morphe M5. Three zero brush, so you guys can kind of tell that part where I look super pale right here. And then okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna go into this shade right here and do down here we got the contour and now I'm gonna go back in with this 
And I'm gonna grab this big brush. This I use for both bronzer and blush. And this I'm just doing it to bring the blush a bit more down. Or not the blush, sorry, the, the bronzer. And honestly, I could leave the face like this if I wanted to. But I'm not going to. I'm just trying to eat light because we're gonna go eat. This is NARS and this is a little mini um, orgasm blush. This is what that looks like. Um, <coughs> let's go back in with this brush since it's so tiny. And I learned this trick from Scott's, Scott Barnes and Tati's video. I think it was that video. I don't know kind of like the two-step so you smile and you apply your blush from here on out but sometimes I do like to go tiny bit in right here use another mini so this is from Becca this is the opal highlight That's what that looks like. Uh, and then we got the blush. This is gonna focus. I want it to really focus so that you guys can see in this highlight. So, do you see it? And, uh, here you see that and I never even used to be that into a highlight but recently I've been into it yeah, you just hit every high point of your face, your nose, you do that, above your eyebrow, you can see that? I love that. One of my aunts recently got her eyebrows microbladed. And I was like, I've never seen eyebrows like that in my life before. I mean, not in real life at least. I was like, especially that Thea. I was like, Thea, you got me shooketh. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. What should I do for my eyes, you guys? Should I do something crazy? Should I do something just basic? The Jeffrey palette again. Um, hopefully by the time that this video goes up, my other video where I used it will go up. I just never know what to use because there's so many nice colors. gonna start with the color cone that is um the peachy color in this palette um it is a great color for a transition it's very pigmented it works amazing so i'm gonna go in go into that should i prime <laughs> let's just prime our eyes 
super quick. And let's use this thing again and see how it works. Or up. And then I'm um, buffing it out with a Real Techniques concealer brush. I just had to send that. Are you almost ready, Tex? Because I'm not. Okay, and then to set this whole eye, where should I go in with you guys? I'm gonna go in with Good Morning, and then I'm gonna grab oof, a Morphe. Um, this is an M153 brush, and I'm just gonna put that all over the eye. This is a pink, like a baby pink color. It cute. Now I'm gonna go in with cone and this is a Murphy M513 brush. And do you guys see that? <coughs> Don't see that. And of course this color you can build up. So that's the first layer right there. Now I'm gonna go in with my color switch thing, Imogee. This is from Ulta. It cost me like six dollars, and it was the best investment. I'm scared. I don't know what was that, but I'm scared. I'm gonna go in with the color F U C K. I'm just gonna same brush, just. And I just focus that in in the inner corner. So that's what that looks like. I think I did this look last time, or I used some other color. I think I used the color suck. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Um. I just want to do a quick blend for my all over my lid. I'm gonna go in with the color orange juice, and I'm gonna use my finger for that. You see that? Look at that color. I'm a little scared because I didn't know it was gonna be like that. This is like turning into a monochromatic look that I didn't think it was going to turn into. Mm. Mm. That's what that looks like! Surprise! If this is um, a brush I got off Amazon a while ago. Um, these things are pretty good. Um, and I'm going to use the color Jawbreaker. I'm actually going to just hit the middle of the eye with this color just so that it adds a bit of lightness in there I'm scared because I took a risk and I don't know if I like it I'm like yeah I'm just gonna leave it it doesn't look terrible it really does it. Okay, so that is what the eye looks like. I look like I match with this now. My Morphe setting spray. <laughs> Hand out. On that one. It's 
we're gonna go ahead and go back in with our powder i kind of like to touch up after i put on some setting spray um just because i feel like at times it'll just leave you with that look you don't want so i like to modify this bar here I do my eyelashes the same almost every single time. Um, I just always change mascaras. Uh, let's do the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Um, I love this one. I love this song. I need a mirror. Let's just use this tiny thing. <laughs> That is what um, the lash looks like. So mascara, no mascara. Um, also what I'm gonna do really quick is I'm going to do the inner corner highlight and I think I'm gonna go back in with Drawbreaker and do that really quick. And for that, I use a Morphe 574. So it's got um, like this very, um, like it's very pointy at the edge and like I said I'm going back in with Jawbreaker so I think that is the final look I literally finished right on time because I gotta go um, my camera's literally blinking at me again um, let's do the lip before I leave I'm gonna line my lips so it's stripped down. Doing my MAC um, lipstick in the color My Tweety. And this is one of their new powder kiss. <laughs> That's what that looks like. I'm gonna grab. Freebird Gloss and that is the look for this video I hope it's not like terrible but um, yeah that's just what this looks like um, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed so I can leave um, yeah it's gonna be a nice night alrighty Bye.